another Solomon question. Uh, we are asked to use the trapezium rule with two intervals uh, to find an estimate of the following. Give your answer to three significant figures. One thing to point out here, e to the power of cos x, e to the power of cos x. Let's make sure our calculator is in radians mode as it must be for any uh, calculus involving trigonometric functions. Then it asks us to use the, the trapezium rule with four intervals to find the value of the integral to three significant figures. And then it says, given that the true value of the integral lies between the estimates made in part A and part B, comment on the shape of the curve between zero and three, these points. Explain your answer. Okay, let's do the first two parts. Firstly, let's uh, work out our h. So our h is going to be three subtract zero and we're going to divide it into two parts. So it's going to be 1.5. Let's draw our table. This is my x, my y, and my trapezium rule. So x0 is going to be 0. x1 is going to be uh, add 1.5 to it, so 1.5. And x2 is going to be equal to add 1.5 to it, it's going to be 3.0. Now y0 is the value of the function uh, is going to be equal to e to the power of cos um, 0 and cos of 0 is 1 so it's e to the 1 so it's just the, the number e then if we put in 1.5 we're going to get ourselves y1 which is 1.07329928. Uh, so with the trapezium rule here, we, we're going to use y0 as e. We're going to double this, so we're going to work out 2y1, which if I double it straight away and write it in, it's going to be 2.14659855. And the last one, we're going to calculate uh, it e to the power of cos three which is going to be y2 is going to be 0 0.3715 which if I write out in full 0 0.3715794791 now I'm going to total these and I'm going to get myself 5.23646 So my area, my approximate for the area is a half h, so half times h, which is 1.5, multiplied by this, which is 5.23646113. Tap that in the calculator. I'm going to get myself 3.93 to three significant figures. Okay, and that is my approximation to that integral um, to three significant figures. Okay, so next part, uh, I'd like to now use four intervals. So my h is going to be, let's, we're working out the integral between zero and three of e to the cos x dx. So my h is going to be three take away zero over four, it's going to be equal to 0 0.75, my new table. my x, my y, my trapezium. x0 is again going to be 0, but x1 is going to be 0 0.75, x2 is going to be 1.5, x3 is going to be 2.25, and x4 is going to be equal to 3, as before. Now, um, as before, some are the same, so y0 equals e, and I'm going to have that in my last column. Uh, this last one here, y4, is going to be as it was before, a 0 0.371579, 0 0.3, 7157, 0 0.3, 7157, 9 9491, 9491. And my x2 is going to be the exact same, which I'm going to double it again. So two lots of y2, in this case, are going to be the same as I got before, which is this. It would be easier if I just copied that over to the next page. 
Okay, so now all I've got to work out is I've got to work out y1 and y3. So what happens when I put in this into the calculator? Well, e to the cos, um, I'm going to put in 0 0.75, and then I'm going to uh, double this. So I'm going to get myself 4.15717615, and I'm going to double y3 here. So I'm going to put in, again, e to the, e to the power of cos of 2.25, and I'm going to double it. So I'm going to get myself 1.06713087. I'm going to add this up. And when I do that, I get myself 10.46076658. And so my area, my approximation for the area is a half times the uh, h, which is 0 0.75, multiplied by 10.46076658. Do that on the calculator. And I get myself 3.92 to three significant figures. Okay. And the last one, we're supposed to uh, use the fact that the true integral actually lies between the answers to part A and part B and use that to comment on what the curve looks like. So the integral between of e to the cos x between 0 and 3 actually lies strictly between 3.92 and 3.93. So it's less than 3.93 and it's bigger than 3.92. Now 3.92 is when you used four trapezia, and this was when you used two trapezia. Now, usually we thought that the more trapezia you use, the more accurate the answer gets. However, they're both the same distance away, and it's not for sure that this is more accurate or closer to the real answer than this one. So what could be going on? Um, this requires a little bit of explanation. It's, it's quite tricky. Suppose you had a curve that would have an increasing gradient like that. And you're working out the area between there and there using trapezia, okay? If you uh, use trapezia like follows, you are above the curve. You're an overestimate, or if you use one trapezia, it's clearly in this case, your trapezia are an overestimate. But there are curves where your trapezia could be an underestimate. Imagine you had a curve that had a decreasing gradient like as follows, and you're working out the area between here and here. Trapezia now are an underestimate. Even if you use two, they're an underestimate. Now, for this uh, integral, the, using more trapezia to actually uh, not necessarily be underneath the value, having been over it, potentially, it seems like there are, there must be, or the curve is above the trapezia for some points and below for others and below for others for others and uh, depending and depending on your strips this can cause an over or underestimate. Over or an underestimate. If we knew that the curve was going up all the time, the more trapezia the better. If we knew it was going down all the time, the more trapezia the better. But there must be some fluctuation where it's sort of going up for a bit and then going down, etc. And that's why uh, if you divide it up into different widths, there are, you're including uh, places where it's under the curve as well as uh, where the trapezia are over the curve. So that's the answer to that.